get a dishwasher. Washing the dishes makes you miserable. So get a dishwasher, whether it's a small tabletop one, which doesn't have much space but still gets the job done, or whether it's a bigger one. Get a dishwasher because dishes, washing dishes makes you miserable. DIY. Do it yourself. Have you ever met a depressed DIY person? No, because they're always doing something to make themselves happy and make themselves realise how smart they are. So, paint a wall or paint a door. Don't paint a whole room because you'll get fed up moving all the stuff around and depressed. Just paint a wall, paint a door. Maybe get a saw and saw a tube, saw a bit of wooden too. Get yourself into DIY, it's impossible to be depressed. DIY people are the happiest people of all. Hunch your shoulders. By that I mean like an athlete does in the 100 metres finals just before it kicks off. And they, they try to get rid of the stress round about their neck. It seems to be your neck that takes most of the stress. And by hunching your shoulders you're sort of taking control. Usually it's your brain tells your muscles to, to react. Your brain's stressed and afraid and it says right muscles tense up so you want to do the opposite try the opposite and you tense up the muscles and that'll maybe tell the brain to relax so the opposite you get the idea you get what i mean it's actually a psychology a psychology an old psychology trick where they tell you to tense all your muscles at different times so that you start to understand where the tension is in your muscles because the the pathway is, you become afraid, your brain tells your muscles to tense up and you're not really aware. That, and you can maybe try and do the opposite, you can tell your muscles to relax and then that will tell your brain to relax, so you're doing the opposite. So, I say hunch your shoulders, hold your neck back, sort of practice that way, you know, just, you could even do it for a minute or something. Because you're wanting those bubbles when, you're, when your muscles start to let go of tension. So, that's my advice. Hunch your shoulders or even tense all your muscles for about 10, 30 seconds. So that you become aware of the tension in your muscles. And you might start to relax. Create a YouTube channel. You can even make it private if you want. You don't need to let people see. You don't need to appear on screen. It's just a good way to gather your thoughts and to talk. And uh, you can just make one channel or you can make lots of channels and do, do different things so you're not stuck with the same channel. The only problem is you need to get a thousand subscribers to, to get to AdSense. But uh, if you're not looking for money, it's just a good way to gather your thoughts and say what you think or show show things you can do or whatever, or, or anything. Like do a review on a, a Beatles album or anything. So that's, that's a tip. Make a YouTube channel to express yourself. Ear defenders. Get ear defenders. And when to use them? All the time, in your house. Anywhere really. I would wear them all the time if I, if I could, but it would look too strange. So I'm still too scared to... But ear defenders, yeah, because if I was a council leader, that's what I would give to everybody. If I, was a, if I ran a hospital, I would, I would give it to all the patients. Most of us will never get silence because uh, maybe we'll get bad neighbours or someone slams doors or kids are playing outside or uh, you live next to a main road. All these things... Most people just can't get silence. Meanwhile, uh, the well-off people, they, most of them probably will get silence, although some of them buy a house near a main road, which I can't really understand. But uh, most, of their, most of them will be able to get silence. And so you deserve it as well. So get yourself a pair of ear, def ear defenders and uh, make sure that you can squeeze in Bluetooth earbuds underneath because then you can listen to what you want in your... Bluetooth earbuds and you have silence as well so my tip is to get ear defenders wear them about the house all the time 
even sleep, even, and uh, ear defenders everywhere. And let's hope there's an ear defenders revolution and we all wear them outdoors when we're in the supermarkets and stuff. So we're all happier. Funny voice. Embrace your funny voice. Here, here's, here's my funny voice, okay? This is where I like to talk. It's my alter ego. Uh, yeah. You want your funny voice? Uh, just to sort of think of yourself in a different way. A non-threatening way. A bit silly. Of course, whether you do your funny voice to other people is up to you. Or, uh, yeah, your funny voice, you need your funny voice. You need a funny voice and you need to develop it and embrace it because it can give you a different aspect of yourself for situations and stuff, you know? Develop your funny voice. Where did all the geese go? And number one, sleep on your back. Obviously, if you're already sleeping on your back and you still feel depressed and anxious and that, then it's not going to work, but... I believe that the human body is meant to sleep on its back. Um, if you see a dictator lying in, in state, they're not lying on their side or lying on their belly. You know, when Michael Jackson went to see James Brown lying in state, James Brown wasn't lying on his side or his his belly with his his head round one way. Uh, you're meant to sleep on your back. And uh, if you don't, then you should. So my number one tip is sleep in your back. Five minutes of lying in your back is better than a whole night lying on your belly with your neck all crooked and stuff. So you why you why do that? And that's my tips for just now.